All right, students, welcome to the wonderful world of presenting. Okay, so I hope you had a chance to watch a few of those videos on, you know, the art of presenting and some bad presentations. You know, we just were having a little bit of fun there. So let's now, now that we know what a good presentation should look like and that it should be very minimal in its text, it should have beautiful, beautiful artwork and you should be able to present looking at the audience with this beautiful imagery really uh, adding to the message that you're trying to present uh, to your classroom. Okay, so how I like to do presentations. This is the Mr. Flick style of doing presentations. Okay, number one is you need to have your rough outline of your presentation. And in this case, we're going to use that world famous volcano report from the Google Docs lessons uh, that you've done earlier. So, uh, you know, let's just stay on the same theme, volcanoes. So I have that report in front of me. I have it printed up, but you will just have it right below this video. You will have all the text that you need for this um, presentation, okay? And I've got it broken down into what's going to go on the slide, what words go on the slide, and then what goes in the speaker notes, okay? Because remember, we're trying to keep the words on the slide to an absolute minimum. Okay, so so we have that outline basically. Mine is printed up and like I said, yours is down below. So yes, you're welcome again. You don't have to do a lot of typing in this one because it's already done for you. Okay, don't worry, your time is coming. All right, so you've got your outline of your presentation. Okay, then we go into Google Slides and we do our draft, our rough draft of the presentation. We start to put the slides in, we start to put the titles on the slides, we get that all organized, okay? And at the very end, key point here, the very end, we put a slide for photo credits. Okay, so that's really important. Once we have that done, then we go look for the images that go with our slides. Okay, and we look for high resolution, high def, whatever you want to call it, really great, uh, great photos to go with that. And for each photo, we give credit to that photo in there. So this might be a little different than you're used to because there are really quick ways to go get photos within Google Slides but it doesn't actually let us give photo credit uh, for those. So we've got to do it the right way, all right? And so that's what we're going to talk about in this whole uh, little uh, lessons that we're going to be having on this, but that's essentially my steps on getting a great presentation and then boom, stand up in front of the class and deliver and you'll do great. All right, can't wait to see you on the inside. I'm going to get logged into my computer and we will then continue this lesson in my computer. See you in a second.